so at the end of the first year it was like that i'm not going for coding stuff and all so let's uh, pursue my electrical side itself job was with topper so yeah. uh, as you said it was not part of a college placement so how do you approach this organization so linkedin okay. has been a very important crucial role in my life in getting into the uh, making connections or getting in touch with the people and landing jobs and all eight to 10 months I, i reached out to lot of companies but in like after my college ended after that i had message to a guy who guy who is the vp product at topper and he has made some post that he's hiring for some roles and all so that's why i messaged him then he came back to me okay send your profile and all and he shortlisted me and then we had the interview round so can you tell us about the interview process right from like the first step to the end step when you were saying that you were selected there were five rounds the first round was more around the puzzle solving uh, they try to test your problem solving skills so they gave me like three to four puzzles i was i was able to solve three of them then the next round was around uh, my experience in the college and then there were some guesstimate problems so when you are looking for an analyst kind of role they always ask you your guesstimate problems like estimate the number of people living in some locality or the number of uh, buses traveling from x place to y place those kinds of things are there uh, then the third round was it was totally focused on my uh, the skills uh, experiences that I have done so what i did at my Uh, into my extracurricular things, how what changes did I brought, and then the my project side. Then the fourth round was more on the hard skills. So they asked me questions around uh, SQL, the Python, those kinds of things were there. So uh, how you can to analyze things and writing all sorts of queries. Uh, because as a data, when you are working as an analyst, you have to analyze a lot of data. So for analyzing that data, you have either using some tools like Google Analytics or Tableau, or you write SQL queries on raw data, and then you. make sense out of that data so that was the fourth one and then the last one was with the team that i was supposed to join so they uh, try to gauge me okay how good i am i at uh, interpersonal skills and whether i will be able to blend in with the team or not tell us about what does topper exactly do so uh, topper is an edtech startup if you might have heard of byju's it's in the same domain started a like around the same time uh, as byju started so they are making an personal is running app for the students of 5th to 12th and it has like all the resources that a student needs to study while at home or even if they are not able to make it to the school then you can use those apps and all you worked in topper product associate and then you got promoted to associate product manager basically i want to ask is what does a product associate do and how did it change when you became a associate product manager Initially, my role was mostly concerned with doing the analytics part of the uh, product features releasing that were happening and giving the my insights to the product managers. And then they used to uh, figure out okay, what should the next steps for them. So I used to deal with all kind of feature releases that were happening and analyze their data. Uh, then the other product senior product managers used to tell, take the help out of that. And when I got promoted after that, I got into uh, fe- feature building and releases myself. so i got some projects of my own i picked certain modules and i started building things on that they have a sales team so i built a new sales uh, app for those guys to help them getting in touch with the student leads and then managing their incentives and all so that was the transition so what are the like top hard and soft skills required to be a associate product manager product management as a field in india is still very uh, is growing uh, not many people after mba at least for like five years back not many people were getting into product management and even during my time at college i was not also aware that there is a role called a product manager so first of all as a product guy you you are cust- you are an advocate of the customer so you have to think about customer and you need to get into their shoes and then analyze okay this is how he is build- he how he is looking at the problems or this these are the kind of problem that he is facing so what should i be doing to that so then the, so uh, at that time the next step comes is for the problem solving so you have identified that this is a problem for example uh, if i talk about like uber so uber product managers identified okay people don't want uh, people want to travel from x to y uh, but they don't want to hire taxis okay then how should i solve about this when you are uh, thinking about a solution you have to think like okay is it 
actually possible to build this or not so you need to have a bit of tech understanding okay this these are how this how this is how the things work and all you need not be very thorough with all the coding skills because at the end you are not going to do that but just a basic understanding okay this this is how the things flow uh, because it will help you modify uh, you understand your solutions that way and even if when you are interacting with the tech teams it helps it's very very, very useful then the next thing that comes into picture is your uh, ui ux principles and design thing because as a product guy mostly people right now are dealing with the digital products uh, not with the very hardware projects and all so as a digital product there is a lot of designing thing is that is involved uh, that, like there are hardcore designers for that but even when you are thinking about a feature if you have understanding of how basic ui ux principle works okay this is how the screen should be uh, this is where the uh, button should be placed this should be the treatment of this uh, for search should there be a text box or should this be a, just a button so all those mm-hmm. kinds of things so ui ux principles come into the picture and and then the next is uh, uh, your business understanding even in product management there are different kinds of uh, sub departments that people look into some product guy look into getting the user on the app uh, once the user gets on the app then there are set of product managers who are building features to keep them engaged on the app then there are people who are in, uh, who, who whose role is to do the retention part that okay the guy has but the folks have not got uh, engaged with the app so what should i do to make them Uh, retain on the app so that is very specific to the role that you are dealing with then uh, there is comes the analytical part where you have to understand okay i have made the release but uh, now you have to look into how the feature is actually uh, behaving is it giving you the expected results or not for my tech skills are like kind of uh, okay so i try to look more into the things which are like uh, on ui ux side or into the exact product my product management so for those there are uh, for ui ux if you want to understand then there are uipatterns.com is there ux planet is there then there is mobin.design principles.design and if you want to look into more into product side then there is product coalition clever pm uh, product talk so you are right now working in ghana yeah so ghana.com everybody knows about this brand because it's obviously famous so can you tell us about the whole process the how how did you find this company and then uh, when you went there what was the selection process and what kind of question that they asked you i remember it was again through linkedin uh, not through direct messaging it was some linkedin post a job that has been posted uh, and they were hiring so gana's parent company is times group and uh, this is the times central team does the hiring for them so they were initially hiring for economic times but then somehow they landed me into the gana's uh, site and so i had like three rounds of interview for that uh, one was uh, with the guy who was i supposed to work with uh, the it was all about the features that i have built earlier the second one was with my manager that was going to be there uh, it it was more around uh, it was again a more around in details the conversation about the features that i have built what approaches did i took uh, and then the last one was with the ceo he wanted to have so i was getting hired for the monetization team so i look into the, the art piece into gana so okay uh, so hey, I, i am the guy that is hated by the most of the people because i am showing ads uh, but that's important for using uh, streaming apps because there's a lot of cost involved in running these kinds of so all those kinds of songs and all the distribution cost that's there so the last round was with the ceo of having me an understanding of how the business side of the music works how i would be able to monetize the gap if i come into the picture anyone else wants to join in then uh, obviously they have their recruitment right which are happening across the campuses uh, they, but it's not very frequent it happens like two times uh, twice a year i guess. once a year they go for hiring uh, last year they also hired from some iits uh and if the recruitment drive is not happening then there is always a uh, job posting available on linkedin so for gana at least they have been hiring uh, via linkedin jobs and then there is always a third way which has helped me uh, as in other job openings so you reach out to the people uh, who are working at gana and just see, ask them if they are hiring for any role and just drop them their cv and if they will if there will be an opportunity they will get back to you so how is the work that you're doing in gana different from topper so first of all my customers change Uh, earlier i was looking for uh, my apps for for the students in school uh, 5 to 12 students who are trying to do something with the studies or uh, there were my sales people who for them for whom i was making the apps uh, after landing to gana my user base expanded to a lot i have to make an product for people all over india all different age groups 
different kinds of occupations who are using Ghana in all different ways. For uh, youth students, it was still a very niche group because as a student, I was I knew that okay, these are the problems that a guy faces uh, during school times or not. Uh, but in Ghana, you have to look at the big, bigger picture. Okay, these are different kind. You divide the whole user set into different subgroups. Uh, okay, this is how a student thinks. This is how a working wife will be thinking. This is how a uh, uh, daily working professional will be thinking. And then you figure out, okay, these are the common traits. And then you start, try to build features on that. In the whole uh, Corona pandemic situation, how has your work life changed? And how is it affecting the industry also in, that you're working, both in short term and in long term? Work life, I for me, it has become better. Uh, because I stay in Faridabad with my family, my office in Noida. Uh, earlier, I used to travel two hours one way to go get to the office. Uh, now I'm able to save that time and my productivity has increased by working from home. Looking at the industry, so for us, if I talk about my team specifically, I look into the monetization part and all. And now people have stopped spending on marketing and all those kinds of things. So for us, in that way, it has impacted a lot. Uh, we are still waiting for the markets to jump back and then people again spending Back. but on the other side our engagement thing has improved a lot now people are consuming more music there because they are at your home in that terms it is helping but if i look at the overall business it's very important that uh, we are able to balance out all the things so we're still like hoping that the situation improves and market bounces back so that we are able to move at a much faster pace any advice that you would like to give to students who are currently doing engineering don't waste a lot of time uh, so see, uh, once you get, uh, so it's very, uh, uh, very normal for all the people that after getting into, so the kind of picture that has been portrayed for us, like college life is like totally fun and everything comes for very easy. So you need to tell your, under yourself that nothing comes for easy in this life. There are a lot of people that you have to compete with. Uh, it's the survival of the fittest. So don't waste time in just going out and chilling out and thinking that everything will just come in your hand. Uh, it mostly happens because like uh, people keep on telling I'm okay, I'll just get into the IITs and NITs. Now you are in the good colleges. Everything will come in your hand and all. It's not going to happen. Uh, you are, it's not like you per se, there will be a, a Akash money and you get some gifted. You have to work for that. You have to grind and then you get. Kill that thought that, okay, everything will come for easy. Uh, then uh, don't go too hard on yourself. So uh, this is because I have seen both kinds of people in my uh, uh, on the hostels that I used to stay. Uh, on one floor, there was people who were just uh, who were not doing going to classes, just chilling out in the hostels and all. And then on the other hand, there were people who were just sitting in libraries. So you have to come out with a balance. Uh, that figuring out that balance is very uh, it's difficult. Yes, it's not very easy initially. Uh, but uh, you need to be. Uh, you just can't go very hard on that. And third, uh, trust your professors understand that seniors are still in colleges and professors have been to all those life circle and they understand how the things work. So they or the alumni, these are the people that you should be trusting more rather than your immediate seniors. They have been making the same mistakes that you all will also make. Thank you so much, Vivek. It was uh, very insightful. The whole conversation like helped. I'm sure it's going to help a lot of students who are currently in the third and fourth year. Thanks for having me. It's been a pleasure.